The three main steps all organizations need to consider is firstly, where is my data stored and how, who has access to it? Two, creating a satisfactory breach notification plan should a breach happen, which you'll be required to uh, disclose. And thirdly, invest in the right technologies to deal with insider risks and threats, as well as external threats. They should be taking positive steps to identify the data that they've got today, to ensure they understand the basis in which it's been obtained, and to put in place appropriate technology and organisational measures to make sure that the strict regime under the regulation is complied with. We need to look at different technologies for different things. So data protection, we're really considering is encryption technologies, so uh, encrypting the data when it's moved, encrypting laptops that have personal information, using technologies like data loss prevention to identify content that matches personal identifying information before it uh, leaves the organisation. Um, and then the second one is to consider those external parties that want to get access. They're going to use malicious software, they're going to try and take advantage of vulnerabilities from unpatched uh, systems, so utilising technologies to protect you against those. So using anti-malware, but beyond that, application control and whitelisting to stop malicious software being executed. Uh, virtual patching technologies to quickly uh, close vulnerabilities that exist within your infrastructure. Integrity monitoring technologies to identify any changes in your environment. And then finally, breach detection solutions, which can integrate network analysis for suspicious communications, sandboxing technology to identify zero-day attacks or uh, activity on your environment. Under the regulation, you'll have to implement adequate security technology and processes. Now, um, that will take into account what is state of the art at the time, and that will, of course, evolve over time. Um, we will get guidance at some point in the next two years as to what may be considered to be state of the art, but this will always be a moving feast. The fine could be the greater of 10 million euros and 2% of your turnover for failing to put in place adequate security measures. Um, and if you breach some of the fundamental provisions in the legislation, for example, not obtaining consent when it's required, the fine could be 20 million euros or 4% of your gross annual turnover. Uh, message to customers is take this seriously, start to plan. Two years sounds like a long time, but it goes very, very quickly. Yeah.